In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to take the elements that you've assembled for one project into your Media Room library and have them available for future projects without assembling the same components all over again. I have a user who asked me the question, is there a way I can take the elements in the library and make sure when I start a new project they will automatically be in that library. I haven't found a way to do that, but what we're going to show you is even more flexible and more useful. Now we're not going to show you how to actually build a project from another project in terms of structure. That's a different tutorial. And you'll find a card for that at the end of this tutorial. What we want to show you in this particular instance is how we can take the components, not necessarily the order that they have inside your track, but make them available in a future project. So the way to do that, and I'm going to assume for the sake of the tutorial, that we want these four elements in most of our future productions of this series we're going to call Beach Sites, that we want to use these over and over again. How can I make them available easily? All I need to do is right-click anywhere in a blank part of the media room and choose Export Library. And then it will give me my file location in my file system. I need to remember where I'm storing these. And then it will create a PDL file for PowerDirector Library. And then I'll go ahead and just type Beach and click on Save. And now we're going to create a brand new project, start from scratch. And I say, well, I'd like to use those components that I assembled. Again, all I need to do is right click and click on Import Library. And I'll go back and click on Beach and click on Open, or you can double click. And now I have the components that I can use again. And so I can go ahead and drag the music, I can drag the theme, I can use as many of these as many times as I want to into my new project. And so it's a very easy way to save a lot of steps. You can, of course, add other components into your library, but it gives you a base upon which to work. If you look at the card at the end of this tutorial, it will point to where you can go in order to actually take some of the structure of an earlier project and import not only the elements, but the very structure. For example, you might have the front end that you want the same, where you have music aligned with a picture or a video. Or you might want something at the back end, like we often have here at our website, where we're asking for people to like us and subscribe and check out our website. And so you can you import structure in that particular uh, video tutorial that we'll point you to at the end of this one. But if all you need is content to repeat over and over again, using the import and export of the library is a very easy way to go.